Broadcasting live from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Sarah Pizan for FX77 Option. U.S. stocks traded in a narrow range Thursday afternoon as investors took in mixed economic reports. First, on the economic front, existing home sales for April fell 3.3%, missing an expected 1% gain to 5.24 million units. Also, manufacturing PMI came in at 53.8 for May, below expectations of 54.5, while the U.S. Philadelphia Fed Index showed a gain of 6.7. And even earlier, weekly jobless claims came in at 274,000, above expectations of an increase to 271,000 from the prior week's 264,000. The four-week moving average remains the lowest since April 2000. And over in commodities, WTI crude oil futures rose for the second straight session on Thursday as concerns over a supply glut in the U.S. eased following data that showed crude inventories fell for the third consecutive week last week. On the New York Mercantile Exchange, crude oil for July delivery added on 54 cents or 0.91 percent to trade at $59.52 a barrel during morning hours. And here to talk about the crude supplies read for FX77 option is Thomas Vitiello of Orem Option Strategies. Uh, I see still uh, a lot of sideways action unless we get some really jarring number, but I still feel there has to be some washout before gold turns around and maybe you can start to get bullish. I think you really need that washout where people just throw in the towel, maybe some people who got long, uh, you know, in, in this area, and then it breaks 1130, and then, you know, maybe we can see that 1050 level. And, uh, you know, we have an old high when gold first started cracking 1,000 of like 1030, 1050. So, you know, we, we could still, I feel, get down there, but, uh, you know, calling that's across the wall, and I don't have one. And we conclude with the forex market as the U.S. dollar is under pressure as the euro dollar pair is 0.31% higher at 111.24. And for FX77 option from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Sarah Pizzo.